McLaughlin. Let him hear it. How's it going? Um, I was drinking coffee at work recently, and uh, I took a big gulp and went, <sighs> and um, this guy who sits near me was like, you know, that's a really bad habit. And I was like, you know what else is a bad habit? Being an asshole. Um, I'm on the web a lot. Uh, the thing about the internet is it makes men jerk off more. And it's not because there's so much porn on the internet. It's just, if we're sitting doing nothing long enough, we're gonna jerk off. But, you know, you learn about yourself. Like, you know you do it too much uh, when it gets in the, the way of your ability to enjoy actual sex, you know. Um, let's say you're with a good-looking girl and you get her top off. Uh, the guy who doesn't jerk off too much says, this is great. Um, the guy who does jerk off too much says, this is great fodder for later when I'm jerking off. Um, shifting gears. Um, are you guys... Uh, I mean, I would, I would talk about that more, but I, I get the feeling not everybody wants that. And that's fine. Um, so, are you guys, uh, are you guys ready for Obama to win? Yeah! Uh, you know, I think the problem with McCain is people just stopped buying the things he was saying. Like, his main message is, I, John McCain, am the candidate of change. And all I could think was, you know, my dad is 20 years younger than John McCain. <laughs> He doesn't try new things. He calls jeans dungarees. He, he has a 30-year-old stereo with wooden speakers that queef when they get turned on. He made the switch to compact disc in 2004 when he couldn't replace his Almond Brothers Eat a Peach cassette. You know, he's not a candidate of change. Like, you know, uh, Dad, there's a, there's a new way to get to the mall that doesn't involve forested back roads. Like, oh, really? That'll be a good route to try when I'm dead. So, like, when McCain would talk about reaching across the aisle, I, that's all I could think about. Like, you know, President McCain, a lot of experts think we should be withdrawing troops from Iraq. Oh, because you'd know about that from when you went to war and got tortured. Oh, wait, that was me. Shut up. <laughs> um, I'm from Philadelphia, and... Uh, 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 um, a lot of times... Uh, a lot of times when I go home, I take the Chinatown bus. Has anybody ever taken the Chinatown bus? So you guys know, you guys know what it's like. It's, you know, it's really cheap, which is why you take it. But the flip side of that is it's complete chaos. It's, you know, it's not Joe Shanghai Chinatown. It's, hey, that guy on that bench isn't asleep. He's dead Chinatown. So you go down there and there are these competing bus lines and everybody's screaming at you. You don't know where you're going. I've taken it. I've had all these experiences on it. And uh, recently one of my friends came up to me and was like, you know, did you hear there was a really bad accident on the Chinatown bus? And I was like, I didn't hear about it, but let's play a game where I try to guess what happened based on my experiences on the Chinatown bus. Um, uh, okay. Did a crate full of chickens fall out of the overhead compartment and crush somebody's spine? No? Huh. Um, okay, uh, uh, did the driver get up to swat a fly while going over a bridge and crash through the guardrail? No? That's weird. Um, oh, I know. Did the bus come to a screeching halt on I-95 to pick up some random Chinese people from Bob's Big Boy and cause a 90-car pileup? Um, I found out another car caused the accident and I was really disappointed. Um, I was just watching TV and I saw this commercial that Disney did about how they're re-releasing the Jungle Book in the special edition DVD set. And you know, they try to make a big deal like, 
liberated from our Disney vault. And I was like, a vault? You locked up that movie everybody's already seen? And they're like, for the first time on a two disc DVD. Like, well, it's a 50 year old cartoon. What's on that second disc? Check out Mowgli's audition. <laughs> Behind the scenes interviews with Baloo. <laughs> and a deleted scene in which Bagheera fudges a line and King Louie shits himself. <laughs> but uh, speaking of movies, um, I was flipping through the channels recently and the movie Hook was on. Have you guys seen Hook? Or the Peter Pan thing? Um, Rufio is the only casualty in that final battle at the end. And you know, it's more of a West Side Story fight where everybody's having fun, nobody gets hurt. I just picture two lost boys comparing notes after the fact, like, hey, how'd you do in the battle today? You know, I, I did all right, but uh, I got splashed with some green paint. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to rinse my outfit in the lagoon later. How about you? You know, I was doing fine, but Smee cut my drawstring and my pants fell down. It was really embarrassing. Hey, where's Rufio? <laughs> oh, he's dead. Yeah, he got stabbed in the heart. Well, thanks a lot, Brendan McLaughlin. <laughs>